Level by Level Gaming, and this is going to be the third video in the PAP 16 gigabyte quest for the custom menu here. Um, and as you can see, I got them both set out side by side here. I'm going to fire them up and let's see where we're at and what's happening with them. So if you like that kind of thing, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and comment. Let me know what you guys think. Now, on the left here, I have my original 4 gigabyte version. As you can see, when it fires up, it states Super Game, and the fish is a little bit smaller. Um, and there you go. That is the custom menu that you guys know. And you can go back in the videos if you want to see more details about that custom menu on the 4 gigabyte version. Now, let's fire up the 16 gigabyte version. Take two. There we go, got a green light. I just didn't hold it down long enough. We have the splash screen with the fish. It's kind of zoomed in. You don't see Super Game along the bottom. And voila, we have the custom menu running on the 16 gigabyte version. Um, now, the first thing you're gonna notice is along the bottom here, it doesn't have the video player that was available on the four gigabyte version they did remove that um, and i have not been able to put it back so uh, like i said this is just a preliminary port of this menu over to the 16 gigabyte version so i did not go back in and try to include the video player um, and unfortunately i have not re-enabled or even figured out if it's possible to re-enable the USB part where you can tr data transfer over a USB cable um, that was available on the four gigabyte. What I did do is I went into the file systems, altered wh what I had to, the bare minimum in those systems to be able to skin over the mods that I did, um, such as your apps, Overclock, Dingux Commander, all your icons, resizing, re-imaging those, um, and more importantly, for me, renaming these systems to something, I'm trying to get the glare out of the camera there, um, renaming these systems from like Famicom to Nintendo and Super Nintendo, that's more of a taste thing and adding in the additional emulators that I had going on the four gigabyte, such as the Ataris, um, Intellivision. Let me get it to focus here. The Intellivision, PC Engine, Amiga. Oh, and one of my subscribers commented about the Amiga, and I guess they didn't know that I had already made the Amiga available on the four gigabyte version. Um, I just haven't had a chance to hit them back with a comment yet. They commented and I haven't responded, but I will when I put this video out. Um, so there's the Amiga, Commodore, Vetrix, Amstrad, ColecoVision, MSX, and your alternate NES emulators. And they all work just like they do on the four gigabyte version. So, that being said, once again, it is just a preliminary port of the menu from, from this one here over to this one. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on with this video with some screen captures of cursory knowledge or cursory introduction to what files, where, went where, what I had to cut and paste and what I had to alter to get the menu to work on this device. Um, I'm gonna be switching over to the Linux screen capture, and then I'm going to switch over to a Windows capture and just show you what happens whenever you uh, plug the USB into the Windows, what it'll read, and show you how you can access the game partition 
with a Windows PC. All right, so stay tuned and we will move on to that. All right, we're gonna continue on. Um, I did attempt to use OBS here to do a screen capture so I wouldn't have to hold this camera and film and have it all shaky and everything. But as you can see, it gave me a big fat error, said that something was wrong and I couldn't do a screen capture. So for sake of saving time and getting this video up and getting you guys moving right along with this menu, decided not to try to work on that, just to do it the old fashioned way here. Um, that being said, let's go ahead and go in here. You'll see that under D menu in here, I had to go into the themes like I was saying before. I actually had to go into wallpapers um, and add the, I got the Sega logo, the uh, Nintendo logo, it is all right there is a Nintendo logo which is my favorite because it's like that black on red. Um, let me zoom in here. Anyway, there we go. So uh, I added the wallpaper so I could get a different background. Um, under themes here, I had to go into here and under the games icon, I had to create and put in a transparent PNG. Um, that way you wouldn't have those game icons across the middle of the screen. Uh, label icons. Here's where I had to go in and change these. Um, just going along with that video, I was able to leave the PNG in here uh, for future use if I can get the video player working uh, but it isn't called to action it's not used with anything so it really doesn't hurt it to leave it in there and the original uh, developers or whoever changed what they changed for the 16 gigabyte version did the same thing they left a lot of stuff in there just didn't leave it attached to anything um, or doesn't have any kind of commands that are looking for it. Under the iPen English here, uh, I did had to go into the cool themes and go down here. Um, like I said, this is not a detailed tutorial, guys. This is just showing you the basics. Um, I did have to make some changes here. Uh, where's that? Camera. If you look, they have camera, recorder, musical, game rooms, ebooks, explore, no video. Um, so that's one of the reasons why that it doesn't work whenever you use my menu. Because um, my menu originally had all those commands in there and it just doesn't work out right. Under the themes here I had to go through and change like I was saying in the previous video. Um, is this the iPad English? Russian, Arabic. No, I don't think I'm in the right place guys. Let me go back and look. Yeah. I'm in the right place. Theme config. Um, music. Alt. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. Um, I did have to change these. You can see just an example. I had to add in the MS, MX, MSX and send it to the right places. Put the emulators in the right place. Uh, Vetrix. So on and so forth. So there's quite a bit of additions and deletions and alterations that have to happen here. Um, I'm contemplating doing a video on the specifics of that if you guys are interested. So there was alterations there. Um, sub icons, here's where I added all that in. So you have your additional icons there. And there's lots of other little things that had to get changed um, just to get this thing to work. One of the other things here, 
Uh, let's go out of this one. Um, let's see, where is that here? User, internal games. I emptied all those out. Those were the games that ran across the middle of the screen. Um, they weren't, e they weren't even sent to the same thing as your 15 gigabyte game. They had an additional file folder in here with internal games. Um, those had to get cleared out. Let's see if I can just highlight a, one more thing here. Um, 15 gigabyte hard drive or partition rather in here uh, added the apps. So you have your apps and under game all these had to be added in the names had to be changed and the alternate emulators added in um, so that is basically what I put in on top of there are other things I'm pretty sure I'm not catching it all I'd have to do a detailed um, tutorial on exactly what was done uh, if you guys like I said if you guys are interested just let me know in the comments so that is just a quick overview of some of the alterations and some of the things that I had to do cut and paste retype and um, alter to get that menu to work and it is over top of the base of the original image that being said I wasn't trying to erase a whole lot of stuff, redo a whole lot of stuff, and then mess up the system to a point where I couldn't get it to work. It's the bare minimum to get my to get my emulators working and to get my menu working. Not correcting the USB and not correcting the video player. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move on from here to a screen capture of plugging it into a Windows PC and showing you what the file systems look like whenever you do that. Stay tuned. All right, we're back with some screenshots on the Windows 10 PC. What I'm doing now is I'm plugging in the USB. Once it reads, it will pop up and it will ask you to format, cancel, make sure you do not format. Um, you also see that it will read the FAT32 file system. That's what's pulled up here. You can see the apps, video, um, it's I on my system. And then you see all these other ones that are unreadable. That is the Linux based. So let's just get out of all this. Cancel, 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 cancel. You do not want to format these disks. Then we're going to go down to the file system here, open that up, and you'll see that it does have all of these Linux partitions um, listed here uh, and the one that we're looking for is I um, right here and once you click on that you will be able to go to your game um, apps docs picture all that stuff right here in game you'll see where we put our alt emulators um, ROMs it's all right here guys you can see where I've added in all these files this is the one that's going to be accessible with your Windows PC and this is where you would go in and add your ROMs so it is doable guys um, to add into these files all these other ones you're not going to be able to read with a Windows PC so it doesn't really matter all right, so this has been the video on the custom or the first part of the custom menu being applied to the 16 gigabyte device here. So this battle and the war has been won, um, but it's just the beginning. Now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to figure out a way to upload this and share this. I uh, was using Dropbox, but all the free storage that I have has been taken up um, and used and I don't have the funds right now to upgrade that or to pay for some expensive file sharing deal. I tried to use Frostwire and Frostwire people were telling me in the comments um, 
and on the forums that Frostwire showed up as a virus and Frostwire wasn't being able to be used. So if you guys know a way that I can get this out to you guys um, for free, that'd be great or for really cheap. Or um, if you guys want to donate, hit that PayPal donate. And if I can get the funds, I will put make this available on Dropbox. I'll just pay for the extended plan or whatever. Um, if not, let me know how I can get this to you guys. So in between now and the next video, I'm going to be trying to solve how I can get this distributed, uh, get this out there for you guys to share. And... Um, We'll just go from there and maybe in between now and the next video and when I can get a upload link for this made available, I can might be able to even clean up a little bit of these other things that I want to get done on this. So once again, that's been Level by Level Gaming. Thank you guys for so much for watching. Please, if you haven't done so, subscribe, hit that like button, comment in the section below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.